<laughs> hello friends welcome again to my channel welcome thank you everybody for subscribing if you are new in this channel please subscribe and share and like because this is a great channel that brings you great content today i've put today a special day aside to celebrate fathers so today I say happy Father's Day to all the great daddies out there. And my fellow single moms, happy Father's Day to you too, sisters. You know, you wear two hats as a single mom. So of course you deserve to, to be celebrated, you know, both Mother's Day and Father's Day. My son actually started this culture. Every Father's Day he made sure he spoiled me just like Mother's Day. He said, Mama, you play the role of mom and dad. So, Father's Day, you deserve to have Father's Day gifts too. So, that's good. I'm all okay for that. <laughs> mm, thank you so much, uh, Uche, for remembering me on Father's Day too. But apart from that, today, I've come to talk about my dad. Joba A.S. Ogodi, my dad. Um, most people know him in the village as Onyunkuzi, which means the teacher. He has been a teacher all his life. That is said, he said teaching even at the age of 12. Although he didn't experience his own father for a long time, his daddy died when he was very young. Daddy now ended up being a great dad. He refused to give that as an excuse. I didn't have a father. So that's why I didn't become, no, he didn't, that was never an excuse. Daddy believed in discipline. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daddy believed in love. Daddy believed in family. Daddy believed in education. And most especially, Daddy believed in God. Daddy thinks if you educate a child, you educate the whole community. He believed so much in his community even when he had better positions, he refused to take them to come back to the village in order to serve his community. We didn't like that move. We didn't. <laughs> but I'm grateful that daddy did he that daddy made that move. Daddy supported us in our educational fields. He did his best. You know, sometimes he had to go without. Daddy patched one of his shirts to the point that he was changing the colors of the shirt. <laughs> the Obiomas knew him in person. So that he could raise us up and give us the best education ever. Daddy faced a lot of humiliation. A lot of insult and assault. But he didn't let that stop him from living a life of integrity and from giving everything, sacrificing so much for his family. Daddy, although a great disciplinarian, anybody that lived with us as relatives would come from time to time to stay with us. And even people we didn't know would bring their children to stay with us just so daddy could teach them or discipline them or whatever. Anybody that stayed with us, we know that daddy, people were scared of him. He was a great disciplinarian. But I can tell you one thing. I can vouch. Daddy has never, never one day abused us. He would discipline you. You would feel the pain. But we were never abused. And daddy would be the first to come and ask for forgiveness if he felt that he was wrong. That is like that. I can't even understand that. But African father, in those days... Will come and apologize. Daddy will quote most of our books. Every book we're reading, Daddy will read them before us. So you have no excuse why you didn't read yours because Daddy will already read the book. You can't even lie to him. Daddy will stay home and we make sure he comes to our rooms unexpectedly. He will just appear like he goes, like, oh, where did this guy come from? Daddy believed in early childhood education. And he stirred up the passion in me 
for early childhood education. He always talked about catch them young. Start educating the children as early as possible. That's the only way you can be able to manage them when they grow older, when they no more listen to you, when they become teenagers. Daddy believed in that. Daddy never felt shy to come in the kitchen and help us with cooking if mommy wasn't there. He didn't feel I'm the man. Men, the, Daddy would come in the kitchen and would direct us and tell us, cook this, put this in the pot. Have you made that? You make sure we have a good food, a balanced diet, a nutritious meal. And make sure we were clean. Make sure the house was clean because daddy hated filth. <laughs> he hated filth. So he would make sure the house was spanking clean. He, he can't stand dirtiness around him. He can't stand waste. You know, daddy taught us how to manage time, how to manage our resources, and uh, how to care for the environment at a very early age. As a child, it was annoying if I tell you, it was so wonderful. No, it, we couldn't stand that guy. We're like, can he please leave? So I'm encouraging all the young fathers, aspiring fathers. Don't be scared of your children. Even when they tell you they will hate you when they bang the door on you. One day they will come and say thank you. But the important thing, daddy did all he did out of love. And we felt it. We felt his love. We felt that he cared. We felt that he gave sacrifices for us, sacrificed a lot for us. We understood that. We didn't always act like we did, but we did, and we still do. So thank you so much, Daddy. And if you are a daddy out there, if you're a young dad, I just encourage you, keep on doing the hard work, the good work. Focus yourself and lead by example. You remember that your daughters are going to marry you, meaning they're going to marry men that act like you. Remember, your sons are going to become you. So think about that before you make the next step, because these little ones are watching very closely. Even when you don't think they are, they are. So I just want to thank everybody today that has taken that role to be a great dad. Even if you're not biological dad, even if you're a spiritual dad, even if you're just a neighbor that just helps out, may God bless you. May God strengthen you. May you be greatly rewarded. Thank you, everybody, that helped me. It took a village to raise my son. I cannot take all the glory by myself. I will say without God, it's not even possible at all. But God also used people who were willing to be used around me to help me raise my son. To all you fabulous people out there, all you great uncles and great brothers and great men out there, to my son, I say, feeling dank. Merci beaucoup. Je vous aime. I love you guys so much. May God continue to strengthen you all. And may you have a beautiful, may you be honored today and forever. Happy Father's Day. Choose peace, perhaps. Bye. Father's day, Daddy.